Hey everybody, Grandpa here. Today I'm going to look at a map called, and I cannot pronounce it, it's German. Uh, it's capital A-U-E-N-S-E-E. -E -E. I'm just going to call it Anzi. Uh, if anyone knows German and can pronounce that, you let me know. I'd appreciate it. But uh, a, uh, a gentleman that I follow on YouTube, Mr. Species 7, uh, I think it was Monday, did uh, release a map review of this. And uh, it's a great map. It's, it, it's going to be great for a single player. It's a small map, but it's, uh, it's got everything in it. I would read the briefing, but I cannot pronounce any of it. Uh, so this is, is uh, version one, second edition of Anzi. And uh, I really think I'm going to do a let's play on this instead of the Hoosier farm. Because, like I said, this has got everything that you'd want to do uh, in a map. And it's small. Let's take a look at the map. Look at that. Uh, let's see. You don't have a lot of fields. You've got, I think, maybe eight fields. Biggest field being number four. Uh, you start off with uh, two fields, one and five. Uh, they're not real pricey. Uh, and uh, you've got, I mean, you've got a lot going for you on this map. But I think it's going to be a good map for a series and so i started the hoosier farm uh for my let's play and i don't really don't think i'm going to continue that just for the simple fact that it's just pure farming which you know in itself is all right but this map here's got it's got everything uh so i really think i'm gonna do a let's play on this and i think we just go ahead and get started. I haven't taken any loans out for my uh, rich Uncle Buck. Uh, just because I think I can handle this one on my own. And uh, let's just go into the garage itself. That ain't it. Go into the garage and let me show you what you start off with. I haven't bought anything. I have put some mods in it and I've done a little bit of work and I'll show you what I've done. But yeah, let's uh, let's just consider this a let's play. Uh, you start off with a Lamborghini, a uh, T8 uh, New Holland, and a T8 435. You got three tractors right off. Probably could sell one of them. You start off with two Case Flow Axial Flow 7130s. So you start off with that. You start off with one uh, normal header to go with that, and a corn header. Also got a fairly good size uh, crump, Bandit 750. Uh, probably a medium size type of a plow, uh, a cultivator I should say. You st the smallest uh, Pottinger, uh, which that I'll upgrade. You start off with one uh, mower. You start off with one uh, Pottinger Euroboss, a couple weights, three weights, and uh, with that you can uh, you can actually uh, do your do your work. And I think I will do that. I am almost ready to plant one of the fields because I uh, I collected all of the straw on it. Let me see. I don't know my way around, but again, being it's small enough, I think that it won't be a problem. And I th again, perfect map for a let's play. You got your mixing station to make your TMR. I've already put some grass and straw in. Uh, I, I started it last night. I wanted to start the let's play last night, but it was a little too late. Uh, I didn't want to be talking real loud. So I thought, well, I want to play on it. So let's just go ahead and uh, uh, 
do that. So like I said, I've collected from over here and uh, it had uh, a field, your field, but it was already just uh, to collect straw on. So I thought that was good to start with that. So this guy is right it to be uh, uh, worked. And then I've been going around uh, mowing on just sides here. And uh, I put enough uh, grass in the silo uh, silage maker to get that started. Also, uh, I've got time running at plus five. That's really not bad. Uh, I don't remember where anything's at. I was going to show you the silo bunkers. Uh, and then over here you've got, and I've never used this, but this comes with the game. Uh, let's see, what do you look at? I think you look right here. There you go. So, uh, you don't own any. I don't know why it says 5, 15 cows, so maybe it's to show if you have 15 cows. Uh, again, like I said, I've never used it. I don't know how to use it, but I've always wanted to. Uh, oh, feeding schedules and all that kind of your mix ratio. So I've always uh, let's see. I'm just kind of looking this over. I, I haven't ever done this. Uh, I always thought that you put all your stuff in here and it mixes it for you. You got silage, straw, and grass. So if that's the case, why do you have the uh, machine over there, the mixer? I don't know. So uh, I don't know. So I'm going to proceed just keep going along a few uh, here's your bunkers I, I put enough in here just so I can get it covered to get some uh, silage going so yeah I mean I'm really excited let's uh, and I think instead of just taking you on a tour let me just show you the map again instead of just taking you on a tour I think I'm just gonna start uh, farming it and then as we get going, we'll, we'll uh, explore it together. I have run around the map one time just to kind of familiarize myself with it. And uh, again, I found this uh, map through a gentleman on YouTube. I highly recommend. I will have his link down below. Mr. Species 7. Look him up on YouTube. I highly recommend him for his map reviews and Let's Plays just kind of a character I really really enjoy his videos and uh, that's where I got this from so I kind of know a little bit what's going on on the map through his uh, his uh, review of it and uh, let's see so there's the map like that you got one chicken no cows no sheep uh, you've got your uh, pig one, beef one, which I like that. And you got fat and chicken. So that part don't look like it's going to be very complicated. Uh, I don't really ever do missions. Uh, so yeah. Again, I've only spent a few minutes on the map, couldn't really, because I wanted to get it started so that I could start the Let's Play. And uh, I don't have any money to actually start buying any type of uh, animals. So let's, uh, yeah, I worked it hard enough where I got my Lamborghini dirty. I don't have a, oh, one thing they got on this map that is really cool. Uh, I tell you what we'll do. Let's uh, mow a little bit. Run it on the map mowing. And uh, so in saying that, let me get this guy started. Lower mower, turn it on. Lower the pickup, turn that on. 
and uh, we'll run it on a map doing this we'll uh, mow our way around that way uh, I'm doing something productive while I do it uh, this map's got a lot of the sugar beet thingy over there the potato sugar beet shredder uh, I've never used it I know my buddy wheels uh, 20 247 24 sevens used it uh, again another youtuber personal friend of mine and uh, check him out again I think I'll get his link down below also and uh, yeah let's uh, let's see I don't oh a lot of good woodworking woodworking lumber uh, forestry I guess would be the proper word on this so you got farming you got cows and all that livestock and you've got logging and I think I'm going to uh, do quite a bit of uh, forestry I enjoy doing it mainly because there's a lot of uh, good uh, easy mods for that which I have and let's just take a look at my mods for the fun of it uh, tractor wise I have your cases your claws I have the Fent, and I got some John Deere in here. I also have the Taurus. I love these. I normally usually go right up to the uh, big guy there. Uh, harvesters, I've got my your Crones. I've got a larger, I think, a case, which I've never worked a map to where I would use anything smaller than uh, and I'm not even going to put it on here. The Cat Lexian. And uh, it's a modded. I use on large maps. I'm not going to even put it in here. I'm going to get this uh, Chrome Big M500. Do my mowing with it. Uh, I'm going to use this probably later on on my corn. And probably I might go with more of the uh, larger case. This looks like an IH7130. Uh, let's see, it has a 600,000 capacity. Just for the fun of it, let's look at the ones I've got right now, capacity wise. I have two of these, they have 105,000 capacity. So, yeah, I probably end up selling one of these and going with the larger the modded uh, front loaders. I've got several going on here. Actually, these are just attachments. I don't have, I've, I haven't put any larger trucks in yet. Uh, let's see. I've got some lo uh, larger uh, modded loading wagons I'll end up using. Forestry, let's look at this. I got, let's see, am I in the mods? No, I'm not under mods, no wonder. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to front loaders. Got your FET front. I got a couple uh, loaders here. Uh, conveyors, I should say. I've got the John Deere loaders. John Deere pack. I'm going to use these with in conjunction with something over here. Also, uh, let's go and look at my forestry. I've got the uh, Crasher. I got this Flagel. Lego Auto Forestry. I got this from Big Daddy Mods. Uh, it'll auto load. I've got uh, Ponzi Scorpion. And uh, this here is usually what I use because it'll uh, get a larger, larger than in game for cutting. Got the Monster Chipper. Uh, let's see. Let's just go this route. I got the Can Am. I got my, I like this little guy running around. I've got the service truck, which I probably won't need, uh, just because. Got the New Holland. Got a uh, telehandler. This is modded. And uh, I love this bunker silo. This thing comes in so handy. It's, it's uh, hard to move around, but again, it's really good. Got the combine attacher from Big, Big Daddy. Got a Marhu bale conveyor. 
uh, placeable ramps. These things come in really handy, especially if you're loading, uh, and I'll probably use these over by the uh, train for uh, loading uh, logs on. Got the placeable heaps. Then I got these from uh, DA Net Mods. Uh, Dave, he uh, who's who uh, put together Pleasant Valley. And then I have also a wood storage, which I may use that also. Uh, let's see, miscellaneous. We just went through that that way. Placeables, that's what we came through there. So yeah, I don't really think I've got a whole lot more to show you on uh, the mod thing. Uh, but yeah, let's just, let's just get back to work. A yak like that, I'm not gonna get a lot done. But normally uh, on a first episode of a Let's Play, you don't get a lot of work done because of doing what I just did. I kind of like to uh, hold my videos from uh, anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. It's a beautiful map. Beautiful. Coming up on field six. I think that's got corn and it's set up with the corn header. I do have a modded corn header I'll probably use, which allows you to uh, just do it quicker. So being that there's not a lot of fields and a lot of large fields, you kind of got to be a little more careful and specific in what you do. Uh, so that'll be a little better from farm management standpoint I'm just trying to decide which way to go with this uh, I actually have another field that I was looking for I want to get it started we got to go all the way around so let's more our way over that way I think I went the wrong way so let's uh, pull the inside of this. On uh, single player, it's not that critical to pick up all the grass you cut. But you kind of should get in the habit of getting every little bit. Because if you get on a multiplayer, uh, you're going to want to be able to pick up all the grass. And if anyone here is interested in playing on multiplayer, we're going to be loading up the uh, new... PV Rivers map as soon as it uh, comes out on our server. Uh, Buck Shop, Buck Shot is uh, the man. He's our sponsor uh, for that and our team speak. We've kind of uh, took a break. Most of everybody's kind of doing their own thing for a little bit here, but we're uh, we're going to be uh, heating that bugger up as soon as uh, the map comes out. And we're going to be looking for uh, players. I know uh, Wheels uh, has been already talking about it on his uh, videos and his live stream. We've got one uh, person expressing interest. Uh, country Boy. I can't remember the rest of what his uh, Country Boy 7 or something like that. And anyhow, he uh, been following me also. I appreciate the comments. Let's see, I've already mowed this over here. We're kind of looking forward to getting to know him. Okay, I need to go this way. Here. And yeah, uh, Papa Rob's part of our group. He's been uh, doing YouTube videos. Check him out. I mentioned Wheels 24-7. Uh, Check him out. Buckshot. Check him out on YouTube. Uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of uh, the other gentlemen in our group. Uh, we have Oli the Viking and uh, JJ. And that, I think, pretty much rounds up who we have. Uh, there's a few others that have played with us in the past. Uh, Sammy, she's part of our group. 
then I gotta go around the, the water there. Doc Hoppy is part of a group. He hasn't farmed with us yet. So let's, uh, we gotta turn the mower off, I guess. I should do that. Let's turn the lad off. Turn that off, raise it up over here. This is one of the other fields we own, and this guy's ready to actually go. Yes, I'm gonna get him started. I'll finish filling up this uh, wagon here and run back to the farm to get my uh, trailer. So when this guy gets full, I'm using manual ignition. I'm going to use auto combine. I think I have it loaded on. I want it loaded on. This guy folded out. I want my straw swath. Yeah, I got auto combine. So he's going to start going this way anyhow. So go get this set up. Probably run course play also. I usually start my course play when I first uh, do the uh, harvesting. And then I'll go back around with the uh, wagon, run the same uh, course play route. So let's uh, bring up course play. Uh, let's see. We're gonna... Let's just go ahead and start out the recording. I'm not very good with all that. I'm just letting you know that right now. No, I can't get my mouse to. Uh, I hate when that happens. I don't know why it's happening. Uh, let's see. I think I could just do that. There we go. Uh, I'm going to hire. I want to make sure I get my swath. Here we go. We got them auto combine. I got the swath going. This will be field one. Just stay with it here for a minute. Always feels good to get started. Always feels good to get started for me. And again, with such small fields, you got to make everything count. And I'm thinking I can make this field bigger. I probably will. Actually uh, hit two sides. I should be able to make it bigger. Alright, he's doing alright here. Yeah. My corn's not ready to go yet. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna wait till I get it exactly where I want it. That was field uh, six. Let's see, down there, growing. Not quite the right color. You want it to get to uh, this color here get the max out of it. See, one is where it's at right there, where I'm doing the color. Six isn't there yet. And let's see, what else was I looking at on my Okay, I'll let him go. This guy here, I could actually get started uh, running on the one field that I finished up. Let's just go ahead and get him started. I don't plan on keeping this guy. But for now, I get him started. Got about six minutes of recording left, and we'll just we'll pick up right where I've left off on this. I don't know where the seeds are. I don't know where anything's at, so you gotta bear with me here. I'm on the main farm. 
Don't see seeds anywhere yet. Gas there. Oh, maybe right there. What do you think? Oh. Turn this back on. I bet you it's right here. Refill sore. Alright. I'm going to have to buy a sprayer. I won't need anything really big, so I can almost go in game with that. Because there's not, these, these fields are so little. I'll get him set up on the field. You figure out where it's at. I was going to go right, so let's go left. More than likely, that's the way I needed to go. Yep. Alrighty, let's just start him off right here. Oh, I do not want to keep this guy. I should just sell it right now, but I'm wanting to give my starting equipment a chance before I go that route. And uh, let's take a look here real quick at uh, what we got. So we got your, your bare amount already here. Uh, I have a tendency to uh, kind of go with what I've already, like for me, I think I took wheat out of that field. No, I didn't take, I took straw. So let's just start at the top here. We'll put wheat in here. And I'm just going to hire it done. All right. The way the soil looks, it looks like it's already done. I'm missing just a little bit. But what I'll do is I'll let him get going. The next episode, we'll buy a sprayer. Or I might not be able to buy a sprayer unless I sell a tractor. I think I'm going to have to sell something. Okay, so he's going. Oh yeah, I want to take him back and pick up what's being uh, harvested. And I think just about done. We're almost at the end of this episode. I appreciate y'all stopping by and checking it out. Uh, let's see. We're at number one. And I gotta go around. Corn's down that way. And uh, I appreciate you stopping by. If you like it, please take a moment to uh, hit that like button. Subscribe. I appreciate it. And the other thing is, leave comments. Let's just cut through here. Leave comments because I, I appreciate uh, keeping uh, track of uh, and speaking to people who have taken the time to uh, chat with me. I will chat back. I'm a chatty person. I think this, no, it's not a bad size field though. Let's uh, run over here real quick, check on the price. Oh, it's tempting to go big, Uncle Buck for a loan. Okay, that ain't the one. But I'm not going to do it. What I am going to do to get money going a little quicker, I'm going to do some logging. I tend to do that at the beginning of maps because I can make some good money on it. Alrighty, 37,575 per acre and a quarter. It's not bad, 37, 38,000. Sell a couple trees and we'll have it. Alrighty. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to end the episode here. Thanks for stopping by. This has been 
Grandpa's Gaiman. We're on the map. Anzi. And again, if you know the proper pronunciation of that, I'd appreciate it. Uh, again, I got the map from Mod Hub. And I watched it on the YouTuber Mr. Species 7. So all the information, if I can do it, will be on the link below. And this has again been uh, Grandpa's Gaming, and we'll catch you in the next episode. You all have a good day.